got the gantry moved around. I had to move the table I normally have here. I had to clean up around the whole thing for my mess and everything. And I got this over here. Now, I rated this as one ton because I got a one ton hoist. I know I've picked up more than that hoist should be picking up from time to time. That hoist can pick K and T completely off the ground and I rolled it from one end to the other in the other shop on the same gantry here. Alright, we're progressing pretty good on the shop and I want to get this down on the floor. One, <clears throat> because we're going to be tearing this thing apart so I want to be able to lean over, I want to get camera angles in here, but I also want to go ahead and have the foot room and you'd be surprised how much room this box that it's sitting on, or the pallet that I made for it, it looks more like a box than, than a pallet, it actually takes up around this. Also, coming into play with some things going on with the rest of the shop, it's cleaning up very nice. Lisa's been, been working her tail off there, uh, keeping the place clean. She's run a couple little production uh, jobs for me and things like that. Uh, uh, just uh, kind of like, just extra pair of hands. But I'm thinking about moving the lathe over a little bit to give more room for the table that we've now got on the back wall over there. So hence, getting this down will let us kind of move it around and then there I'll have the room to start tweaking some of the other things. And then Buffy's probably going to move parallel with her. I've changed some things around all over the whole shop, but things have basically cleaned up and I got a good full aisle here. I've moved around. I actually got the power back on the X carve. So I'll probably be giving John a call and, and uh, we'll, get, uh, we'll get that fine tuned and tweaked up because I got to refresh myself with the software and, and how we programmed it to do what it it does and uh, and I got it cleared off it's just a camera bag here and a couple other things but that's why I made up the little shelf over there and I'll kind of show a couple things like that because that's um, those are things that fight flat spots all right so I don't want to take up too much time and I want you know happy Father's Day everybody um, I'm having a great one and I'm getting ready to do this and this is kind of like the highlights and then I'll probably go get something to eat and maybe watch a little TV or something tonight. Um, besides maybe uh, closing up shop here. Um, we, had, we had a little bit of downtime the last couple of days. Uh, the control um, uh, switch, pressure switch on my air compressor went out so I kind of played around. That, was, that, took, uh, that took a couple of days there. Uh, not that it, it, it didn't slow down its function. I just had to come over and turn the switch on and off. Um, not that it wouldn't shut off. It would shut off, but it would bleed air. So when I really wasn't using air, I shut it off. So I didn't want it to just keep cycling. Um, all right. I think I'm going to bring the hoist probably right over the truck here. We gotta roll this in line here. Kind of just moved it because I needed to get the camera over there so that you could get the whole the whole shot in here and you won't miss anything. And I believe you pretty much see it all. Alright. Um when he lifted this up with the bridge crane, I think they grabbed it pretty much in the center. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and drop a drop a strap down. Now, I like to go strap around the chuck down through the hole in the in the waist because there is a nice opening there and then a round stock going through it this way here and I'll be picking it up off the bottom of the waist and then we'll kind of take a look at it and we'll see how it balances out if this will even pick up the whole thing we'll find that out first all right so let me grab a couple things here and I wanted to do this kind of unprepared and I think I think 
think this one here will be long enough to do that. I'll feed this down in here. I'm going to go get a stainless steel bar to go across there. I got plenty of them, that's why I say that. It's just a piece of inch and a half. I think it'll be long enough and I think it'll be heavy enough. And let's go ahead and grab a shackle here too as well. I'm gonna put the two ears down and I'm gonna put the shaft through both of those and then I'm gonna grab, if the hook doesn't look like it fits on here well, I'm gonna grab a shackle and we'll put it in there. that was now I'm just gonna put this on here for right now. the strap was twisted so one side was going to the back side there Probably should go ahead and take the lags out of the pallet. Or will it be lifting that pallet weight? I don't know. Alright. I'm going to unbolt the pallet now. Okay. I felt like it wanted to uh, lean, 
lean more one way than the other. I think it was just a set of weight. Uh, we probably have, hard to say which side we have. You have the motor and casting on the bottom here, and you have the handles and stuff there. All right, and we don't know if we're going to be this way or not. Let's see what we got. Okay, I think it's got to go that way, and then I can get it down on the ground. By the way, uh, I came up with a name for this monarch, and see now she's from 1941, in the era of Pearl Harbor, um, I'm calling her Pearl, uh, I thought it'd be a suitable name for, I haven't named all my machines, but We'll just go ahead and we'll we'll give her the name Pearl. Um, I was kind of satisfied with Buffy, and now we got Pearl. Um, also, by the way, Debbie is up for grabs. I'm going to give Debbie away to the first person that comes in here with means to haul it off after I load it with the forklift during working hours. Um, just need to move it on and uh, and uh, real estate is more important than a lot of other things and right now I'm borrowing somebody else's real estate. I'm learning to clean up my own real estate but I need to pay attention if I'm flowing over in anybody else's real estate. So. It's kind of what, what the situation is. All right. I was thinking whether I was going to put her on cardboard or something else because I know we're going to have a lot of things around here, but I think the sweepable bare floor will be fine. Speaking of flooring, you can see that this coating here that I put on there was a little bit darker than this right here. I think this was like a second coat coming on over. A couple areas did peel up because it, it, it was severely soaked with oil in different areas. This was an automotive shop. But also too, I rolled in with heavy machinery and drug machinery across here as well. So some areas did peel up. This right here was just because it was saturated with oil and it wasn't going to get a good bond. And I have two packets of this uh, same paint. Um, still
still on hand. And I plan on probably after this lathe is done, and I'm pretty much not going to be doing any more restorations in here. I'll probably do the aisle way of a couple places. It's not too bad. I, I put rubber mats down in between because these old feet, they need some cushion. side I'm on I guess and I'm just kind of well I'm not going to try to move it anywhere uh, until I get closer to the ground anyway so we're just going to go down I can't wait to watch the video because you guys probably I don't know if you can see if there is any thrust or whatever into the scene but Okay, I'm down close. Let's we'll just see if it's good trolley. This is a schedule 40 pipe that I have. Of course, there I don't know, it's probably three inch pipe there. And uh, that's, um, I don't know, let me see here. Let me get a tape measure here. I'm sure somebody's going to want to know specs on this. And actually, people do ask me from time to time. You never can find a tape measure, but when you do find it, you find that the other six are right next to it. Uh, this is six inch I beam, but I have a heavy, I bought a heavy web. I forgot what strength of the web I did, but also too, I got, uh, it's three and three quarters on the, on the cross there. And uh, my overall length of, of this is Uh, inside to inside, I'm, I'm 10 foot 4 or so. Yeah, I, do it, I did a couple of things. I mean, I made it round. I put two pins up at the top to keep it from anti-rotating. I also have made two sliding blocks that I can T-nut. Uh, Use them multiple purposes. I, I put this surface against to keep it square at the end or I bring it in. And then I tighten it down so that I control where the, uh, the gantry is going to stay if it wants to travel. It, it really doesn't travel too much in this direction here, but the floor does slope that direction there. And um, it, when I'm crosswise with the lathe right here, and I can almost take my chuck out and then just let go and it'll come back to the aisle and farther if you let it go farther. All right. Um, I, mean, I just want to halfway... Okay, I'm going to steal a little bit of room here, so I'm going to go ahead and roll it this way here a little bit. As long as I don't roll over my SDI cable. Alright. I barely have it on the floor there, so... Alright. And... I do want to put this table back between there. That's good. And if I want to put the gantry back in this spot, I can. And I brought this gantry up this aisle here. You can go up this aisle over the mill that way. And it's all good. Alright. I want to kind of 
I want to go a little bit more with being parallel with this. Yeah, I can tell it from afar, you're coming in. Before it used to block out the closing. You can pretty well see the closing now. And it doesn't look so crowded in here. I'll get this out through the shop and outside. Um, cut off that section over there and I can almost palletize Debbie there on her way out if it needs to be. Um, so that would be a good thing. I don't have to worry about this here for a while. So. Here we go, this is going to be the start of the restoration of Pearl. I know I'd want to put some kind of a platform underneath there. I'm now, I used to be five or six one, but now I'm 5'11 and 8 tenths of an inch there. Compression of the spine over the years and old age, that's what happens, you know. Um, anyway, you don't want to go too much. It, 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 you know, most of those old guys in the shop there, they're kind of walking around like this. I called up a South Bend. Um, and I never had that. Another thing throughout your life, operating machines and stuff, change your stance is a, a key thing so that your posture and everything else. Um, I, you know, you know, some people say, hey, don't touch your leg while it's running and all that, but this, uh, this pan here is the right height, and sometimes I just put my leg up or switch it off on the other thing there. This thing is so massive, and, you know, it's not like I'm going for high tech. If I'm doing something, the thing needs to be really close tolerance and everything else, I don't touch the leg when it's running. And, uh, you, you, you don't do anything that you don't have to do. <laughs> and uh, since I've tightened up the uh, the cross slide and everything else on the closing, it's it's like a brand new lathe. Um, we're gonna make this a brand new lathe. There as much as we can, and I'm actually gonna um, go for scraping the ways and everything else. So um, Adam Booth, Keith Rucker, and the rest of the guys say if I need any help, jumping in and uh, with anything that I need to scrape this. I've already uh, been sent or purchased a set of uh, uh, straight edges for that, and when I bring them out, I'll, uh, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll talk about those and where they came from. And, uh, you know, opening this up and looking in and getting to see the gearbox is great. Uh, stand at, at Bar Z, um, he, I, I ran his Monarch. And uh, it's a dream machine. Very, very, very nice machine. Um, there's no flies on it. I would be, uh, I would be proud to own that. I know Stan is as well. Um, he he said that because this only tops out at 550, but he says that Monarch, uh, you can make a, a drive change in here, and you can double this, and uh, you can make up. A new nameplate or they have a kit for it so I'll be looking into that as well uh, it would be nice to at least have a thousand rpms on on a, a small blade like this um, but back in the day the, the type of machine and everything else that they were doing when these came out uh, that was that was a good speed for how they were cutting what they were cutting with and all of that all right and we'll, we'll when we get closer and we're putting it back together, we'll tool up with um, what we want for tool blocks and stuff like that. So, had a pretty good day. And uh, played around with my new motorcycle a little bit. Added some chrome onto her. 
and of course it wasn't a nice enough day to take it out and ride but hey that's fine um, let me catch up and, on a lot of other things um, gearing, having, having to shop and having it busy is one thing but also in the mix of everything trying to get organized and straighten out and, and, and stuff like that it really became a good helping hand when Lisa come in and she was cleaning the floor, painting the uh, stands and the benches and other things that I got around here and you know it just it really I didn't have to stop and do two jobs at once or change up a job so it, it really does come in handy and I'm grateful for that. Um, Alright I think this is uh, about all I wanted to cover uh, tonight and that was just getting us down onto the ground. I'll probably drag out the pallet and a couple other things here before I shut it up, but until uh, next time, get it done. Thank you.